everyone. It is Stacy and Bert from The Sound Couple, and it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, 418 to be precise, and we are off to another gig. The great part about this gig, everyone, it's about 10 minutes from our house. We, have, we never get, well, I don't want to say it never happens, but it rarely happens where we don't have at least a half hour or more drive, so we're liking it, especially on a Sunday. It is a city park uh, type of celebration day, and we're expecting a pretty just typical like outdoor, even though we haven't really done any of this year, but we're kind of feeling like we're getting it back in the groove. The only little caveat, well, there's two things. Uh, we have a pretty short time window, like two hours to get set up. Apparently there's another band playing. We were told they would not be on the stage we're that the band, our band will be performing on, but uh, I guess we'll find out when we get there. So a two hour window for any type of event is pretty tight but that's what we're working with and uh, so we'll, we'll deal with that. The other thing I was going to say is that the weather is looking good and we but we did bring our undercover tarps. We got our full complete set now. We ordered some single covers for our subs. We didn't order those the first time and they took about I don't know another six weeks or so to get those. So I think they're a little busy and maybe partly our fault since that <laughs> video got a lot of good response. And we also did some reconnaissance of the oh, venue. Yeah. yeah, so sorry, thanks. The two hour window thing where it's tight, but Stacy and I looked on Facebook. We actually know the band that played there last night and kind of got a layout of the stage. So it looks like we'll be ground stacking. Um, we should be able to pull right up behind the stage. So if we got a ground stack, that saves a lot of time instead of hoisting a lot of things up on stage. We were told it was a showmobile. Well, kind of, sort of. It it's, looks like it's about two, three feet off the ground. So I think we're gonna be fine with the two hour window. That said, I'm not sure how much we're gonna get on our setup just cause we are gonna be kind of, uh, well, maybe, well, we'll try to get some setup. Well, we'll see. We always try to get setup, but it just kind of depends on how crazy it is around there. But it's a Sunday, probably not a, gonna be a lot of time people. I'm being told what, to take a left right yes. up here at the stop sign. So we'll see you guys at the gig, and we'll see what happens. We got a pretty clear shot of the stage, huh? Yeah. So they are off the stage, and we got in okay. Uh, was that guy okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. just wondering what we're doing. Yep. So I think we can, actually, nothing's stopping us from set, starting up right now, is there? They're not. Do you think we can pull in front or not? I don't want to do that okay. while they're playing. I think when okay. they're done, though, we could. But yeah, I, I agree. This is a nice little area, actually. There's some vendors over here. So yeah, all right. Well, big rock show. Right. I, think I like the tarp. <laughs> Very classy. The, the big balloon. Just wait for that gust of wind to come through. And we're facing the west. Or are we? Wait, no, we're facing southeast. I got turned around a little bit, so. Okay, we'll get some load in here.
Well, I figured there'd be power here. Actually, I was told there would be, and then, uh, huh, like it, do not use in the rain. We're gonna put our GFIs on the stage power for sure, and the monitor rig, which will probably be on the stage power. But we, again, always check, even though I was about ready to say, we knew the band that was here last night, their power requirements are a lot greater than ours. I'm not worried about it, but famous last words, you never know what's going to change, and every day is a new day. You don't know what somebody has done in the back, but everything's looking good so far. So just a quick check on here, and we look perfect. So I think we're we're good. So stage I, stage power and the monitor power. Other than that, I don't. So I count two. We don't we don't need them on mains. Oh, okay. Think about it as things that people touch or could come in contact with. So stage monitor, if it was like absolute chance of rain, I would maybe err on the side of putting them on the mains, but we don't We don't need to. Actually, because these things can be, these we've never had a problem with, but GFIs in general can be 
prob problematic, but I'm guessing we're probably gonna wanna move this, like yes. lean it up against the way you're plugging stuff in. And I would say we get it out of the way before we start plugging things into it. So, all right, so we're good. So based on my last comment, I'd love to get some feedback on this, see what people think. So this is an outdoor venue sponsored by the city. It's provided us portable power. It says, do not use in the rain. Well, rain happens at these kind of things, not today. We got our two portable GFIs. So we carry these because of exact situations like this where we don't always know if there's gonna be GFIs available. So we plugged ours in, we got it for stage and we got it for monitor. We're not gonna run it for lighting and mains like to know if we should be running them for everything or just uh, who agrees or disagrees. And one more thing we're gonna run GFI for and that is our rack mixture, which is gonna be down there. We ended up deciding to move it off the stage. So we're gonna run GFI, so we're gonna run it three. So that makes the stage power, the, the monitor mixer, our front of house mixer. So the only thing that will not have GFIs is the stage lights and mains. Also real quick here, so this is a 50 amp plug. Uh, just quick power lesson here. So we got one, two, three, four circuits. So it's pretty clear and they're labeled really faint, but one, two, three, four. And we know these are 20 amp because they have the horizontal prong on here. So this is plenty of power. It's just uh, limited to four circuits. So these could be 15 amp, they could, we could have more outlets, but uh, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it is. It's just kind of open and, you know, yeah, it's doing all these major minor chords. It's, uh... <laughs> It actually looked, it looked really good. It almost looks like a space thing with the with the lights we were using. I, I told Tucker, uh, I was like, we're on the set of a Wilco concert. <laughs> Pass the Dutch, man. So just rem remember, I got these things labeled red, black, red, and then nothing. I know that because I'm looking yeah, I'm just trying to make it easier, not that you shouldn't have to be digging through. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there are naked baby photo demos. Hey guys, where's Woodbury? <laughs> Is that a Kelly? Yep. Yep. Well, now he knows. Remember you got lost coming to that golf club? At, and... Hey guys, where's Woodbury? Do we have to plug in the talk back? Channel. No, it goes into 24 on the board. Ready to do sound check and the face off fire up. Okay. I, where's the stuff? I don't know. There's nothing we can do. Right now. Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh man, it's like there's only so much you can do to pull off frequencies, and I mean it's pretty butchered. He just needs to get that thing tuned up better. Okay, I think we're good.
right, we are done with the uh, second set actually, and we're gonna go until 9:30, I believe. But uh, uh, not much to report, just a typical night, which we'd like to have. And, uh, a lot of stuff going on here on stage. Uh, it's the blue tarp is interesting, and um, the night two of the in-ear monitor rig is working out well. We got it over in the center there. We remembered to put our microphones on top so we didn't have to run the sub stake, but yeah, it's going well. I have one more comment to make, and that is about this bass amp right here. This. Uh, the Bill Jones bass. I have, they are unbelievably powerful. I can't believe the amount of bass that comes out of his amplifiers. And he tucks it under his arm and walks out the door. It's a really cool unit. If anybody knows about these or knows more than I do, I don't know much, uh, please comment. But they they sound awesome and they got a, put out a lot of sound.
Saving thing there. There's an import export. You okay. Just export it onto your laptop. To my laptop. That sure. saves that scene in case something happens. Okay. You got a you got a you know a copy of it. We got a, um, oh. What? Why didn't you That was really nice to yeah. use that. I thought it's uh, good two runs in a row. So I'm yeah, good. yeah, I think uh, we keep, we're going to continue to learn and get better. With it. Yeah, I think uh, I don't really know what else to say except just make sure that people are 
think, uh, no, yeah, they don't have as big a scope as I do, but when I do kind of explain things like, hey, you know, any little adjustments you make is going to affect everybody. Yeah. Um, that compressor on there really saves. It's kind of a, yeah, I mean, it's like I, I, I saw, like, you know, McIntyre's bass was pretty banging out pretty hard. Okay. Uh, Keys was, too. Keys was kind of up and down. And I was, but as long as the compressor is doing its work, I guess that's what we, that's why it's there. I mean, it's it's kind of a safety valve. Um, yep. In a sense. But I'll keep watching that. I'll watch that with Brad on Mr. Murphy. I'll watch and see what it is. With our yeah. lineup. Make sure you get your laptop. Yeah, I'm going to get that updated. Yep. Okay. All right, All right. Thanks, Bart. Thanks, Bart. Thanks, Bart. Thank you, Stacy. A couple of weeks. I, I can't remember which one it was because I thought it was going to be a while. I looked at the calendar and okay. it's really not that far out. Tuesday. Hold on. Okay. One dongle in my pocket. <laughs> Much ready for a truck? Yep. You're ready. What do you think? I sh should I pull like we did? Yeah. Probably, huh?
Hey guys, we got out in just about, about 50 minutes and we're almost home, which is even better. <laughs> I thought it was, I, we didn't really know what to expect. It was an event that, you know, it was just a city, I don't even know what it was, but it's, I think it was sponsored by the city. So people there really enjoyed it. It was actually kind of an overcrowd, which I don't, it's fine too. I just didn't, like I said, we had no idea what to really expect. Um, all right, so we sent the, the in-ear rig off. It is in their trusted hands, and our work is done. We did what we could. We tried out the talkback mic. I, I encouraged them to, to use that, and he actually was using that. So being able to talk to the band without it coming through the PA and not trying to you know get everybody's attention. So I think hopefully that's something they'll, they'll take away with. From a technical side, everything was fine. Um, Strangely enough, so there's a couple videos, and this is one of them, and I was talking to Stacy, where um, drum checks haven't been going super hot. And um, a little bit on both sides, and I, I need to kind of relook at the at the gates, um, getting a little bit of that crispy noise out of them. There's been all kinds of discussions about that. I really don't know where I'm at. I just know where I've used gates. Never really had that problem until until we started using the Series 3. And uh, it, it really got to just get the gates just right. Otherwise, you get this art, kind of this crispy artifact thing going. And when we're dealing with drummers, the last couple gigs, this drummer in particular, I, I think we need to have an outside conversation. He just really likes his drums ringy, and I was having issues with the floor tom. I get it and out, but when I do the gate, then it's kind of making some noise, and I'm just really not digging that. But I think ultimately he needs to get his toms a little bit more dead for me. But um, so other than that, and then I was just dealing with a little bit of low end rumble on the kick drum. We got a bad cable. Uh, we're done with it on our drum snake. It's something that has just periodically been happening. The cable tests fine. It's XLR cable tests fine but we don't know why it's just acting up at times. So we're gonna yank it out and be done with it. Um, so that's about it. It was a beautiful night. And um, I don't know, Stacy, do you have anything else to say or are we good? I think we are good and that's a wrap. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the next gig, everyone. Good night.